Hola, I'm still here from Paper Maps and I am at Tulum with my brother. And that is the main big structure from the view of the ocean. So we are here on a tour with Ocean Tours. Is it Ocean Tours? Yes. With Ocean Tours. We're here on a tour with Ocean Tours at Tulum. We came back this way is the exit. In the right, the parking lot. In the left, the public gate. In each corner, one can see a tower. That was as a watchtower by the warriors. It is for the defense. There are iguanas everywhere. Something like that. Very, Hi, Iguana. The very small is a female. The very big is female. The ancient city of Tulum has such an interesting and rich history. And it was so fun and interesting and, and neat to learn all about the history of the people and what they did there and, and the different classes of people that lived in Tulum um, from our tour guide. That was as a watchtower by the warriors, it is for the defense me. This 45 city, 380 meters long, by 170 meters long. After our tour of Tulum, we headed to the beach to go and do some snorkeling. So we got on a boat and our tour guide took us into the ocean to snorkel and it was amazing. We saw pelicans and we saw a whole bunch of giant rays and best of all, we saw a sea turtle up close and personal. Uh, just be careful with the boat. The boat's are close to the boat. Look at the pelican. The turtle came right to me and I didn't know what to do so I'm splashing around trying to get away from him so that um, I won't touch him. Our tour fed us a traditional Mayan meal, and we also got to see two cenotes, an open one and a closed one, and exploring inside of it. A cenote is just a cave. It's an underground cave with limestone, and some of them are below the water table, so there's fresh water inside, and they have stalactites and stalagmites and all the things the inside of them. Is called caracol. No, when you hit, when you hit your head. Caracol means uh, seashell in Spanish. Take a look at this. This is uh, fossilized oh, seashell. So cool. Now wow. these caves used to be under the sea millions and millions and millions and millions. 
Okay, now here the easiest way to go through is sideways. Okay. Yeah, she probably would not have liked this. You make it? You alright? <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying not to run into select right. Does the water level change much? When it rains a lot, it does rise. But it has to rain a lot. Like when there's a big storm, we can't go in here. The water level rises three or four feet. Oh we took a short the, walk uh, through the jungle to get to the, the plant, second cenote on the tour, to and this one was and half open and half closed, but its and, water and level it was very, very low. And here are those birds again. We are, he's hiding between the leaves. There he flew away. There you see him. Beautiful. The first one is closed. I think it's clear why. There was just a little hole. No, and it was all underground. This one would be half open. Because even though it looks mostly open from here, actually the biggest part is underground. We're going to see that in a couple of minutes. And the oldest cenotes are completely open. They can actually look more like a lagoon in the middle of the jungle than an actual cave. And this is because the roof has collapsed completely. They do believe in a heaven, the earth, and the underworld. But the underworld is where everybody goes when they die. And some of the different gods live in the heaven, some of the gods live in the underworld. One of the most important gods was the rain god, Chak. And his, his house is inside the cenotes. So remember Sweni in Tulum, our guide in Tulum was telling us that one of the reasons that the Mayan civilization collapsed and they abandoned the Mayan cities like Chichen Itza and Cobá was because of they had very long periods of drought. You know, so they couldn't grow food or anything like this. So when they started to have more droughts more frequently, they started to make more and more offerings to the rain god in the cenote. No, and there wasn't always human sacrifices. It was more commonly like throwing valuable things into the caves, no, like jewelry, like precious stones, like pottery. But in some cases they did perform human sacrifices. There's other cenotes where they found hundreds of human skeletons inside. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out the video and the channel. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And remember, to really explore, you gotta use paper maps.